We're here at Nashville, Tennessee. We're on the floor of the National Wild Turkey Federation's convention. And uh, you're Jesse Duff. Jesse, good to see you as always. Good to see you too. Now you, of course, world champion, national champion. I mean, you're, you're probably one of the best, if not the best uh, female shooter in the country. But you've recently, you know, you, there's definitely the, you know, you've been known throughout the shooter's world, but it seems to me that you were recently on the Sean Hannity show. Oh, wow. And to me, that kind of like, like elevate you into like the general population. It's like, wow, this woman's, you know, she, this is incredible. Talk about the experience of being on Hannity, what you did, the exp and, and then what it has done for you since. Well, uh, what, what came about was I had the opportunity to go on the Sean Hannity show, as you mentioned, and the NRA asked me to help in this fight for our Second Amendment. And um, what I did was I did a demonstration of firearms that are all semi-automatic, that function the same, but are different calibers, look different, but still have the same basic function as the AR-15 that is trying to be banned. And uh, my reasoning for doing that was to show that the AR-15, it's all cosmetics. Um, all the scary things that they talk about, that you can only have one accessory, those have no bearing on the, fu the functioning of the firearm itself. So that was my point to show that all these other rifles and shotguns and pistols, they all fire the same and they're semi-automatics. They don't spray bullets when you pull the trigger back. Um, that, to just show that they're all the same and what they're so afraid of are just cosmetic accessories that don't do anything to the gun. Now, you have spoken this message, obviously, to this audience and this crowd and, and then your fellow shooters, but when you take this to the Fox News audience and that incredible platform, um, you know, obviously, you've got to be so excited because it's exposure to all these new people. And it's also, I would imagine, a lot of people have, are thanking you for showing people the differences and that that all of the politics of this and the crazy fear mongery isn't there. It is. Um, it was such a great opportunity. And I, I just feel honored to be in the position to be able to represent the people. And, um, you know, I've told so many people it's so overwhelming because I have just been inundated with emails and messages. Yeah. People, like you said, thanking me for standing up and voicing voicing you know, the truth about these firearms and, and what is happening. And um, it's very humbling for me to, for all the messages I've received and people just saying, thank you for being a voice and uh, please keep doing what you're doing. And as long as I have a platform to speak on, I will speak and fight for our second amendment, so. You know, recently there was a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing and one of the women testified was a woman named Gail Trotter from the Independent Women's Forum, talking about how she wanted the right to have any gun she wanted to protect her family, to protect her children, protect her house. Um, and we heard from, you know, Katie Pavlich and uh, Emily Miller from the Washington Times were in the back in the press area and gun control advocates were heckling her and heckling her messaging and, 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 down, and downplaying what she had to say. You as a woman, uh, and when you hear stories like that and when you know about the armed citizens, about people protecting their, their, their families and their self, what, what is it like for you when you hear about that and how do you combat that when it comes to people saying, oh, you're a woman, you don't need a gun, or even uh, some politicians saying you can't even handle a gun, you know, some nonsense like that. Uh, well, when they say I can't handle a gun, <laughs> I've got, uh, I have video. Go to YouTube. Yeah, go to YouTube and we'll see how much I can't handle a gun. Right. But no, I did see Gail Trotter on uh, the Fox show and she was amazing. I think her message was very powerful. Um, I hate that it kind of fell on deaf ears because as you listened in her piece, she had so much evidence and so many testimonies for women who defended themselves, defended them fa their families, and uh, just got rid of a bad situation because they were armed and could protect themselves. And um, as a woman, I think it is very important to be educated in self-defense, uh, have a concealed carry permit, and enact that. You know, go get a gun, go get a firearm, learn how to use it and protect yourself. To me, it means that I don't have to be a victim. And that is more security than anyone can ever imagine. And maybe uh, the men uh, in the, in the uh, higher ups don't understand that because they can feel like they can protect themselves better. But I've heard that, you know, on an average uh, break in, there's at least three intruders. Now, as a woman, I cannot fight off three intruders, much less fight off one physically. But if I am armed, I can most definitely protect myself. So I think it's it's important for women to educate themselves on this topic and to learn what's going on and take advantage of all the resources they have available right now because it, they might not be available for long, unfortunately. But. Um, but I do encourage every woman to go and uh, at least go through a firearms course, learn it in a safe manner so that it takes all the fear out of it, it takes all the guesswork, and they can learn in a, a safe, fun environment with other ladies and uh, just learn how to, to handle a firearm and protect themselves. It's very important.
Have you gotten any flack from gun control advocates, from women who say, oh my God, what are you doing? This message that you're putting out is unbelievable. And like personally, like, you know, to your face said that to you? Um, I've gotten a little bit, um, which I expected. When you, when you put yourself out there like that, you're gonna have some naysayers. And um, it was mostly just about the message that I put out with the different firearms and what they do. And uh, you know, I just kind of, I gotta let it roll off my back. Um, I know what my message is and I know what I stand for and I know what our second amendment right is. And you know, I just, I gotta take it with a grain of salt and keep doing what I'm doing, knowing that I'm representing the people and this is what they wanna, this is how they wanna be represented, so. Very cool, Jesse Duff, world, national, universal, Galaxian <laughs> champ, shooting champion, uh, co-host of Friends of NRA with Matt Duff. If people want to find out more about you, follow you, I know you're on Twitter, uh, where, where's the best place for people to track you? Uh, they can go to my website, it's uh, jesseduff.net, or also Facebook, uh, Facebook slash jduffshoot. So. Very good, Jesse, good to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Thank you.